Hi, I'm Stephanie Gilmore, Curator of Collections here at the Colorado Railroad Museum. Today, as part of our Small Wonders video program, I'm going to share just one artifact with you, but it's an artifact of great significance. It's not only significant to Colorado's railroad history, but it's also significant to World Wars I and II. It's a plaque from Colorado's Mercy train car. After World War II, much of Western Europe was in dire need of assistance. France, Italy, and England were hit especially hard. As a result of this immense damage, in 1947 the United States gathered resources to send to Europe. Forty million dollars worth of food, clothing, water, children's toys, and personal care items were sent via what was known as the American Friendship Train. This train traveled across the United States, stopping at various depots to collect relief items for Europe. According to the Ray Gazette, dated December 4, 1947, Colorado contributed nine carloads of food to the Friendship Train before it continued east. Once the train reached the east coast of the United States, the cars were unloaded onto ships that transported the materials to Italy, France, and England. Two years later, on February 3rd, 1949, an enormous and exciting shipment arrived at New York City's harbor. In response to America's generosity from the Friendship Train, France sent 49 train cars filled with gifts to the United States. This amounted to one car per each of the 48 states in existence at the time, with the 49th shared between Hawaii and Washington, D.C. As the French word for thank you is merci, the collection of cars was affectionately known as the Mercy Train. Not only were the collections inside of the cars filled with significance, the cars themselves were rather symbolic. Decorated with the heralds from each of France's provinces, the cars were known as 40 and 8s, which meant that they could carry either 40 men or 8 horses. Built starting in the 1870s as regular freight boxcars, 40 and 8s were later used by the French in both world wars then by the German occupation, and then ultimately by the Allied liberators to transport soldiers and civilians. Therefore, they went from symbols of struggle and war onto symbols of freedom and friendship. Due to their frequent use in both world wars, military personnel became very familiar with them. As you can imagine, traveling with 39 other people in a boxcar was unpleasant to say the least. Soldiers often spent days, if not weeks, living out of these cars as they traversed Europe during the wars. In fact, use of 40 and 8s was so common during wartime that a veteran society known as the Society of 40 Men and 8 Horses were formed after the First World War and still exists today. As I mentioned, the gifts inside were also quite symbolic. Items were collected from thousands of French and Italian citizens as tokens of gratitude for America's generosity just two years prior. They contained a range of items from the beautiful and rare, like miniature copies of treasures from the Louvre and the handmade needlepoint, to the intimate and personal, like well-loved rosaries and pipes. Artwork, toys, clothing, food, wine, military medals, lace, fine china, and wedding gowns were amongst the other items. The wedding gowns were even worn by American brides on their special day before they were later given to museums. Upon arrival, the 40 and 8 boxcars were exhibited for citizens of each state to view. Afterwards, the cars found permanent homes at museums, American Legion offices, state offices, and parks. Goods from within the cars were distributed to various museums and libraries throughout the states so that they could be enjoyed for years to come. 43 of the original 49 Mercy train cars are still in existence, but sadly six cars were either scrapped, burned, or are missing. Colorado's Mercy train car is unfortunately one of the missing. We do, however, have this plaque which was once affixed to it. How it came to us is a mystery, like the location of the car. Over the last several years, volunteers at both the Colorado Railroad Museum and the Forney Museum of Transportation have investigated possible locations of the Mercy train car to no avail. The closest hint we have is that the car ended up on a ranch that belongs to an American legionnaire somewhere in Colorado, but unfortunately we do not know the name of the legionnaire 
or the ranch on which it is possibly located. If you have any information on the whereabouts of Colorado's Mercy train car, please email me at stephanie at crrm.org. We would love to find this car to piece together this fascinating and heartwarming piece of Colorado Railroad history. Thank you so much, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Commenting and sharing in particular may qualify as virtual engagements for important funding programs like the SCFD.